Hey guys, welcome back to Power Down. In this series, we're going to take a look at how we can transform Minecraft into something completely new. In this first episode, we'll try to transform Minecraft into a horror-themed game. These mods were all tested on Minecraft 1.12, as that version has the best mod support. All the links you need can be found in the description below. Let's start with the Hardcore Darkness mod. It removes the minimal light level for Minecraft, making it incredibly dark and impossible to see around you during the night. When using Hardcore Darkness, I'd recommend installing Optifine too, so you have access to dynamic lighting. Doing so will allow you to walk around with a torch in hand, lighting up a small area around you. One thing I've noticed though is that shaders won't work with Hardcore Darkness, as the sky will revert to being lit up. With Recurrent Complex, you'll come across all sorts of new locations in your Minecraft world. It adds over 200 structures, with many of them consisting of dungeons, abandoned houses, ruins, graveyards, and some other horror-themed locations. You can also create your own structures and have them spawn throughout the world, or head to the online repository where you can download other people's creations. To add more of a challenge during the night, add the Blood Boons mod to Minecraft. These are rare events, which have around a 5% chance of spawning by default, and will make the moon red for one night. When that happens, larger amounts of mobs will spawn, and they'll be much closer to the player. You can change the chance for a blood moon to spawn by editing the configuration files. A great mod that will make some changes to Minecraft mobs is Epic Siege. It adds some very interesting mechanics to mobs. Creepers can now spawn as charged, will explode with napalm, and also intentionally destroy walls that you're hiding behind. Zombies can infect the player, causing another zombie to rise from a grave. They can also dig through blocks and pillar up towards you. Other changes include spiders being able to web you to the ground and endermen being able to teleport you. Even though Epic Siege makes the changes to zombies, you should also use zombie awareness to accompany it. With it, zombies will become much more intelligent. If you're hurt, you will bleed and any nearby zombies will follow the scent. Likewise, if they hear you breaking blocks, or if they spot light sources from far distances, they'll come to investigate. Overall, it makes zombies more interesting, yet terrifying, as you'll have to be more aware of your surroundings. Using the mob amputation mod, you can take limbs and heads off of zombies, skeletons, and zombie pigmen. It's more for visuals, but you can make your Minecraft world feel a little more gritty, dark, and realistic. Headless mobs will die after a few seconds, and different tools will have different chances of causing mob amputations. Horror movie monsters add some very famous villains from movies you might have seen. These include Jigsaw, Chucky, Pennywise, Annabelle, Frankenstein, and a few more. Some of the sounds are taken straight from the movies, which feel out of place at times but there's something terrifying about running around in the dark and bumping into Pennywise. As well as enemies, a few new weapons are added, such as Leatherface's chainsaw, Freddy Krueger's glove, and more. It would make sense to create a horror-themed Minecraft without talking about Herobrine. The Legend of Herobrine mod adds a few new items to your world, including blocks which allow you to create a shrine. When you build the shrine, Herobrine will wake up and begin spawning in your game world. Eyes in the darkness will add some blinking eyes into your Minecraft world. They make some strange laughing sounds which might just send shivers down your spine when exploring at night. Be careful though, as the eyes also have some minor jump scares which will leave as a surprise. You might know Weeping Angels from Doctor Who. Well, now you can add them to Minecraft. They will try to remove any nearby light sources, including your torches. So, if you notice your torches go missing from walls, that means one is close. Though the most terrifying thing about Weeping Angels is that when you come across one, they stand like a statue. Only when you look away will you feel them silently stalking you. If you're a bit of an arachnophobe, then adding mode blends will add more of a fear factor to Minecraft. 
It aims to make Minecraft characters seem more real by having more rigid and fluid animations. But when it comes to spiders, now they have a more frightening look, and they move just how you'd expect them to in real life. The mod also makes some changes to zombie and skeleton animations. One of the final things you might want to install to go along with all these mods is a resource pack. We took a look at lots of realistic and horror themed packs, but none really felt as good as vanilla Minecraft. Though if you want one, try searching for one that has a gothic, realistic, or post-apocalyptic theme for the best effect. That's it for this list. Now your Minecraft should feel truly horrifying and scary to play. Obviously, you might not want to install every mod on this list, as your world might feel cramped with lots of new mobs. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more.